For all those single 40-something-year-old females who think their Prince Charming has come and gone and it's just time for them to throw in the towel and settle, our next guest says, no, 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 do not do it. Lindsay Lau, the author of My Knight in Shining Armor, is coming. He's just stuck in traffic. And she is not stuck in traffic. She's with us this morning. She has been through the ringer with this topic, and she didn't saddle. She just recently married her Prince Charming. We uh, congratulate you on your recent nuptials. Thank you. Thank you very much. And we welcome you to the show. What Thank a great you, title. Stephanie. Thank you, Stephanie. It was fun. It was really fun. And it's true. It's true. Your night might be coming. He just might be stuck in traffic. I don't think people have the patience, single women have the patience that we, that you say we mm -hmm. should have. You're going to have to get some patience. Uh, it takes time. You know, just like finding a great job or great career, things that are really important in your life take time. So finding the right guy and true love, I'm talking about true love, takes some time. So you have to be patient. Where do you find them? Because <laughs> I've heard it time and time again, all the good guys are taken. Where do you yeah. find them? They're not all taken. That's the good news. Um, believe me, that I said to my friends, I said, you cannot sit at home in your negligee waiting for the UPS guy to come and, you know, whisk you away. It's not going to happen. the uniform is not bad. <laughs> I love a man in uniform. <laughs> but if you want to find the right guy, you're going to have to do some work. And that is the hard part. But at the end, it can work for you. So online dating, people, you know, say that, oh, I can't do that. There's a bunch of wackadoos on there. <laughs> there right. are. There are. But... A lot of times there's a great guy on there, and that's how I find my Night in Shining Armor. How did you and find you yours? Match.com. You did? Okay, I did. You're a commercial. I did. I did. Well, I, you know, I went on about 753 dates to find him, but it was worth it. You're and joking. You no, I am joking. Yes, of course. But, but you probably went on, what, three dozen? Like, how many um, dates did you I would do? say, but the amount of emails that I got from really interesting men <laughs> right was um, overwhelming and that is the overwhelming part is you get a lot of emails from people who just are nothing like you what you'd want and so you say to yourself oh my gosh I'm never gonna w date any of these people yeah but then so you, you have go, to look but yeah don't you want to recoil a little bit because you're like I don't want to deal with that how, oh, yes. how am I supposed to deal with that oh, what yes. do you do? I, I went home and went into the fetal position and you know drank some wine but that's but not what then you're I suggesting that we do what no, should we you need do to recover handle? well it is important that you need to take breaks so if you are getting overwhelmed and you feel like it's just too much, you need to take a break. Go offline for a couple months, take a breather, do some things for yourself, and then go back online and look again. So do you suggest yes. online dating as the primary way to find, you know? I think for women over 35 where, who have careers, who are busy, and who, you know, are not going to go to the bars anymore. Um, you know, I'm sorry, it's desperado town. You know, I'm not a cougar. I don't want someone who's, you know, 19. And I don't want to play one on TV. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it's, it's, the bars can be scary. So um, when you're busy, where are you going to go? And online dating is a great um, avenue. I do call it um, an evil as well, though, because it's a necessary evil. Um, you are going to have to do some work to find someone decent on the sites. Well, you, if you think about, though, a 40-something, when you kind of started into this idea of getting married, mm -hmm. you were in your 20s, let's say, mm -hmm. or even if 10 years ago. Yep. Dating 10 years ago was not the same as now. No, it wasn't. So what wasn't. if you're finding it difficult to really embrace that sort of kind of pursuit of a, of a guy in that, in that way? You don't have the confidence for it. Well, what I say is same equals same, change equals change. And what that means is that if you do the same thing and follow your same routine every day, you know, maybe you go to work, come home, go to the gym, then go to dinner with friends, your life is going to stay the same. And if that's fine for you, then fine. But if you want to find someone, you're going to have to change it up. And that means trying new things, maybe join a meetup group, um, maybe talk to your friends a little bit more and say, do you know anyone that might be good for me? You're going to have to change it up if you want your love life to change. So you kind of have to humble yourself. You kind of yes. have to go, you know what? I'm going to put it out there that I want a man yes. in my life. And I got to be okay that everybody knows that I'm an online dater, that you can hook me up, set me on a blind, like, you have to just kind of put it out there, right? You have to put it out there. Um, I will say, though, don't be a whiner. Because I had a couple friends who literally all we did through the entire dinner was she just whined about, <laughs> I'm single and I don't know what to do. And it was just uh, annoying. So, yes, you do need to put it out there, though, and tell people, you know what, I want to settle down. I want to find the right person, but don't settle. And a lot of people will tell you, you're aiming too high, you got too high demands. It's not true. You know what you want. You know what true love feels like. And it's a feeling. Uh -huh. It's not on a piece of paper. It's a feeling. So that's why you have to go out and meet people, because when you find true love, you know it. You can feel it in your heart. I would agree with that. Married mm -hmm. 10 years. I don't know that I necessarily would have known that that's the man that I would marry. Really? But I felt it. It was undeniable. So, 
so there you go. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much. My knight in shining armor is coming. He's just stuck in traffic, and you can right. pick up a copy of uh, Lindsley's book on Amazon. Just go to SonoranLiving.com right now, and you can get some more information. It's a lot of great information with a little bit of comedy and personal anecdotes as well.